the first thing that comes to mind is that if you don't have a good online presence, if you have your own network of investors, right? Passive investors who invest in your deal and you're a seasoned sponsor, you've been doing it for a long time and you do it in person because that's what you're used to, right? It's like my, my background was everything, you know, the half billion or so that I've raised in equity has always been in person because the law said that was the only way that you could do it. If you're used to doing it that way and you think that that's the only way to do it and you sit on your hands and don't establish yourself as an authority online, guess what's going to happen? My clients right, are coming after your investors because what's, what's happening is that passive investors for the first time since 1933, and you know this from Mark, your conversation with Mark Roderick, right? Uh, from 1933, the this is the first time developers have had the opportunity to go online and solicit from anybody, anywhere, at any time, right, across the country. So all those professional developers who are going online are sending high caliber, high quality informational messaging to every investor in America. Every passive investor in America. So all of your investors that you think are totally loyal to you are being bombarded day in, day out, increasingly by messaging from other uh, sponsors, other real estate developers who are saying, invest with me. And your investors, your passive investors are taking note of that. And if you don't provide the same kind of value to them in the way that they want to consume it, which is what via their phone or via their computer, then they are going to start discovering things elsewhere. They are going to seek answers elsewhere. And the places they're going to find it will be from other developers. The second reason is that um, your deals for the first time whether you're online or not, are being held up alongside all the other deals that are now highly visible online. So if you're offering a 6% cap, uh, sorry, 6% pref, it's real, and, and for years you've been explaining what a great rate that is, right? Because you've been comparing it against bank, bank uh, interest, for example. I'm pulling this out my ear, right? just for example. But now your uh, investors can go online and see that actually 40% of other deals, of other sponsors' deals, offer an 8% PREF. And 30% of all deals offer a 10% PREF. So now you are being compared to everybody else that's out there. So you have to have an online digital presence uh, otherwise, you're going to lose the game. You're going to you're going to suddenly find that you've been uh, you've been wiped out by the tide of change. 